Hey guys, welcome back to Gold Rush. It's a beautiful night here in northern Alaska. Look at the sky. I've never really noticed, but they actually put quite a bit of detail into it. The moon over there rising above the horizon. And uh, I guess that would be an airplane or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's time to get digging. I know the last episode we didn't really do a whole lot. We left our, uh, left our generator running overnight. Unfortunately, we're going to have to dig all through the night here for the next few days, and we're going to have to go get fuel at some point as well, uh, because we are almost out in the in the main fuel tank. But we need to go ahead and cut our pumps on, get this water flow into the wash plant so we can start getting the good gold out of the ground. And uh, right now, the water's flowing real good, so while we have time, it is 12.53 a.m. So we've got a little bit of time to go ahead and, and get some gold the sun comes up and the ground dries out let's go ahead and take this uh and take this and fill up everything along the way down i think most of these pumps are already full so we don't have to worry about those but the uh, generator obviously needs some fuel in it thank god this hose was long enough I've said that before to make sure that the water gets to where it's got to go did not want to have to buy a new pump All right, there we go. Nice. Everything's full. Let's go ahead and cut the wash plant on and get everything set up and get to uh, mining here. Well, it's not making any noise, but it does have water and power, so that's fine. Just probably some kind of little glitch or something. We got to put a bucket in it. I almost always forget about the bucket. I believe this bucket should be good enough. Make sure we don't fall out of here. I wish we could. Ha I wish that they had a way we could build like fences and stuff like that. I think that'd be really cool to be able to put a fence around the hole. Okay, so is it working? It's not working. What's going on here? Ah, I know what I know what it is. We do not have it plugged in. Um, where is the other plug in? Let's see, once plugged in there. Did I leave it down here? I must have. There's a, a yellow one, but we need a, a white one. Well, where is it? Oh, here it is. Here's, where's the other, the other end of it is plugged in. Yeah, they're both plugged in. What is it? It's not doing anything. Maybe it's because, let's unplug it. Sometimes you gotta unplug it and then plug it back up and it, like now no I don't understand I don't understand it's got water it's got dirt it's got dirt in it all right let's put some dirt in to see what happens hopefully it's not glitched out and unusable now Another thing I would really like to see in this game is the ability to wash our machines, because they are filthy, dirty, nasty. Alright, bear with me here. It's been uh, a week or so since I've dug. I think we'll be okay. Uh, it's uh, it's not hard, obviously, once you get used to it. Oh, this is going to be so much better than digging down in that hole, I think. Look at that. Perfect, perfect alignment with the wash plant. Just dump the dirt in there, and nothing's happening. <laughs> Okay, uh, gotta find out what's going on here. I mean, everything's hooked up to it. It's got water running to it, 16 gallons per minute, which I would think would be enough. It's got electricity. Uh, do we... That's not helping. I really don't have a clue what's going on here. It doesn't appear to be broken. I don't know. Um, maybe that's the wrong bucket. I, I really, I really don't know what's uh, what be causing it not to work. Let's grab a different bucket and see what happens. Nothing. Huh. Well, this is no good, guys. I, I, um. Uh, absolutely dumbfounded here you know what it's showing that it has no power 
I, I seen it highlighted in white, and I was thinking that it was fine, but everything else is highlighted in green. So, why would it be showing that it has no power? Yeah, there's nothing turning. So that's gotta be it. It's gotta be that we we are we don't have any power for some reason. Well, let's uh let's unhook the power cord and hook it back up and see if it'll start working. Still no power. How weird. Now it's got power. Okay, it's got power and it's got water. And it's still not working. Now, this is just very strange. Well, it doesn't look like there's any water pumping to it. Zero gallons per minute. Out of... No? No? I'm very confused right now. So there's water coming out of the end. I mean, there was water coming out of here because we saw it, right? Can we put water in this bucket? Is it possible to fill the bucket up? Yeah, there's water coming out of there. Okay. Well, if there's water coming out of there... Why is the wash plant not working? There it goes! What the heck is going on? Alright, great. It doesn't matter. It's working. That's all that matters to me. 16 gallons per minute, 200 of power, and uh, we're good to go. Let's mine some gold, everybody. I, I tell you, that's uh, one of the craziest things I've ever seen happen. I don't know what was going on there, but it doesn't matter now. We're mining away. And this should be, like I said, where the good gold's going to be, I hope. So what we're going to do, we're going to mine one test bucket. Actually, you know what? The top gold's not going to be the good gold. The top gold is going to be the gold that's not so good, and we're a little, a bit off of a... Uh, where we need to be here. The top gold is going to be about what we get. What we've been. We got to dig down two meters. Two meters is where the good gold starts, which is going to be a good ways down there. And to be honest, you know this this excavator might not be able to dig down that far. Now that I think about it, we will see. I guess we're going to dig uh, at least one good chunk out right here. Um, actually, we're. We need to just make a line because we want to dig on 15, right? Or 115, I think was the area. So we're just going to make a, a line straight across here. We're just going to go straight across here. And I'll have to back up and move the excavator some, but that's fine. keep digging just like this right here just straight across and we're going to kind of mark us an area to dig I think that'll be the easiest way to doing things that way we'll kind of know where we're gonna go we can kind of plan it out a little better we just dump dirt all over the wrong spot on that thing The only problem with doing it this way is it's, it is going to take a little bit of time to, to kind of get it right. But that's okay. So, let's see. we got to back up a little more. we we'll have to move this bucket around a little more than what we're used to. Now, I hope that when we dig through that power cable right there that it doesn't snap the cable or cause any major issues. It might. Thank you. 
I'm not a I'm not a real life gold miner. I don't know if you guys know that or not. So uh, you have to bear with me. I don't know if we're doing this the right way or or not really. This is just what I kind of feel like would be the best way to do to kind of uh, mark the areas that we need to dig. And once we draw this line through here, I will get back into the drill and we'll come back over here and we'll kind of look and make sure we're in the right area. We can't go too far back because if we do, we won't be able to get the excavator down here where we need to dig. Oh, we're stuck on the wire. I kind of figured that would happen. That's fine though. We'll just... Well... Nope, that's not what I want to do. So many buttons. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. No, don't dump it back down in the hole. about here yep we didn't get much in that one but that's fine like I said we're just digging the boundaries of the little spot that we want to dig and this uh, this wire is kind of getting in our way we may actually unhook that for a second let's see let's go ahead and do that let's unhook that wire just for a second we'll hook it back up in a little bit let's follow it follow it follow it follow it right here we don't need that wire anyway right now although that does make a big difference I'm just gonna lay it right over here out of the way and we'll plug it back in in a second makes it actually a pretty big difference doesn't it Go ahead and move forward and dig this just a tad bit deeper here. to see so we can at least see what we're digging I would like to get some of the good gold out of here this time if I could I almost feel like the best way to do this would be to dig like we're doing dig like we're doing and then get down to make this like as level as we can down like a meter or two and then take a bulldozer and then try to level it off I don't know how the bulldozers work on this game I don't have one yet that might be the next thing we get actually I really want to repair that water tower before anything else um, I'm just kind of digging off the top layer of ground right now hopefully we won't fall in this hole I'm kind of straddling it We've got until about 10 or 11 o'clock before the water runs out. It's uh, 4.03 right now, so we've probably got about six hours. Once the water runs out, we'll go ahead and refuel. And what gold we do have, we'll go ahead and... What gold we do have, we'll go ahead and get it turned into bars and sell it. And uh, try to make the best of the downtime, and then we won't be able to come back until about 8 o'clock at night. Nope, that is not what I wanted to do there. There we go. You get a better scoop than that. We're a bit slow filling the bucket up, but 
I am a bit out of practice. I think we'll get better the more we play. And I plan on playing for quarter day. I'll probably make two or three episodes a day if I can. That's the idea. We get stuck stuck in the ground for some reason. It's kind of strange. I don't know why. So it's like it, it gets like it gets stuck in that dirt. I don't know if it's like muddy and that's supposed to happen or what. There's a tiny little bit of dirt there. Alright, let's see. Let's get a shovel full right here. And I think we can move back again. Try to level this out as much as we can. See anything else right there? I think we're okay, so I think we can probably back up some now. Let's go ahead and grab this little bit right here. So this is all we're going to be doing for a while. Just kind of uh, trying our best to get down to where the good gold's at. And like I said, it's going to take a while. We've got to scrape off two meters from the top to get to the good gold. Um, so a lot of this is just going to be regular old mining and regular old doing what we're doing right now for a little while and hopefully we'll run into the good gold here pretty soon I think we can get there today I do believe maybe not in this particular episode but we will get there I promise be patient okay one more scoop ought to do it for this bucket and it's raining which is a good thing because when it rains our creek don't dry up as fast. So now the idea is we got to go back and figure out you know I'm just sitting here thinking I probably should have dug down as deep as I could possibly go before digging a new spot because now we're not gonna be able to get to that. Um, hmm. Yeah well, that's fine. We'll just use this spot right here we're digging as the uh, as a spot. We'll remember that for the next the next little area though. So let's go put this bucket over here alongside the other one. Two full buckets now. Go get us a new bucket. And we've got we've got five four buckets. We might as well just go ahead and fill all four of them up. At least until the. Uh, the fuel runs out or the water dries up or something. I probably need to go back real quick and refill all my things with uh, fuel. That was almost empty. This jerry can probably about empty as well. I guarantee you it's going to be empty after this one. We'll have to go to the main fuel tank and fill it back up. Yeah, okay. That's fine. No big deal. Come over and fill it up real fast. We'll just drop it on the ground. There we go. Yeah, just leave it there. Why not? Whatever. Hopefully all the fuel don't leak out. That would probably be a violation and cost me money. It is Monday, 7 o'clock in the morning. If it continues to rain, we might be okay to work throughout the day. We're going to work as long as we can. Once our buckets fill up, obviously, we're not going to be able to work no more after that. We'll have no buckets. But as of right now, I think we're going to be okay. Just pop that down right there. Got a new bucket in there. We do. Let's continue on. Let's get as close to this as we can. That's probably close enough, I think. And we'll just dig down as far down as we can go with it. So I'm not sure how far that's going to be. Yeah, definitely wish we had of, uh... The good, this is where the good gold should be, honestly, where we're digging now, probably. Definitely wish we had of, um... Strip that down as far as we could before... Before moving back, but that's fine. We live and learn. It's kind of funny, because we're basically just tearing this ground all to pieces. 
like there's we have no rhyme or reason to how we do things here. We're just digging. Come on, there we go. I believe she's. I believe the teeth are getting kind of dull on this thing. It's getting to where it doesn't really want to dig through some of this hard rock. But yeah, we just kind of dig haphazardly, you know. Like we don't care. The idea was to smooth it out and then go over it with a bulldozer, but we're not going to have a bulldozer for a while, so there's really no point in doing that. Um, what we could do, and probably will do, is we'll dig through here as much as we can, and then once we get to the point to where we can't really dig anymore, uh, we'll get us that bulldozer and we'll start back with the road coming over this way, and we'll just clear out the whole base of this. And we'll set our wash plant down in the base, and then we'll start raking stuff from the top. We might even get two wash plants where we have uh, one up top and then one down below. Uh, that'd make it a lot easier. So we, we can move the one down below, and, and that'd really help us digging out stuff that's, you know, down here in the in the bottom. And have one up top that helps us when we're up top digging. That'd probably be the best way of doing things, honestly. And then we can start working on getting the really the really good stuff the uh the tumblers and the the bigger wash plants and stuff like that that's the idea anyway i think this is about as far down as we can dig from where we're at i've pretty much got this thing extended all the way out and i've hit bottom here well i haven't hit bottom but i've hit i've hit as low as i can go i should say so uh, this bucket probably gonna be our last one until we can move the wash plant here. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna back the wash plant up. Okay, Yahoo's giving me notifications now. That's fine, I guess. Uh, we're gonna back the wash plant up. Let's go ahead and turn off the excavator. We're gonna unhook everything. Go ahead and turn off the lights. We really don't. Well, we do need them, but. I'm going to turn everything off for just a minute. We'll unhook the wash plant and we'll go, uh, <clears throat> we'll go move it real fast. We could technically move it with the cables and the excavator there, but I think it'd be a lot easier now just to move it with the truck, to be honest. Alright, so all that's turned off. We ain't got to worry about wasting no fuel. Let's go ahead and get in the truck. Kind of glad it's raining. I'm hoping this rain keeps our uh, our creek from drying up. I think it will. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think it will. 37 percent left in the fuel tank. This truck's actually almost out of gas. Whoa! Slow, jeez! Just run over all your equipment, why don't you? My goodness. Um. Yeah. That's. Don't do that. Back up. Turn the truck off. Turn the truck off. Now get out. I gotta back up this this drilling machine. No, that's not what I want to do. Alright, we did pretty good drilling right along the line there, it looks like. Let's let's get a good look at it from here. We did, look at that. 115 completely drilled out. We're gonna move uh to where the excavator's sitting and go ahead and get what is that? 90. 92? 90? Yeah, number 90. We'll get number 90 next. And, uh, hopefully we'll be able to afford, if everything works like it should, we should be able to afford a bulldozer pretty quick. We're just gonna back this right up here. Oh, we're out of gas. Okay, that's fine. It's perfect where it's at. I didn't realize we were that low on fuel on that thing. Let's go ahead and get this thing cranked up. Nope. Let's get it cranked up. So we can uh, navigate back here. God, we are running over our light. That's fine. I hate the way these trucks are because it's like you can't just barely back up. You've got to hit the button and it's it gives it too much gas too quick, I think. It really doesn't turn very good either, does it?
Nope. Back it on up. Hope we don't run out of gas in this thing, too. Dang, I was hoping that'd be right, but it ain't. Oh, we have to disconnect it, that's why. Let's turn it off real fast before we do run out of gas, because we will. If we're not careful. Oh, we are so close to falling that hole right there. Lay that down there, lay that down there. I don't think we can actually hook up to it until... You know what, I probably need to get that bucket off of it as well. Now that I think about it. I'm going to stick you in the back of the truck for right now. <clears throat> yeah, now we can hook up to it. Perfect. How much fuel we got? Oh, we are dead on freaking empty. I oh, know we're not. We got a little bit. Yeah, we got a little bit. Now, really, where we need to put this thing is right where that light's at. So I'm going to turn the truck off here. I'm going to move this light, the one we knocked over, over here. I'm going to move this light over here with it. Move the cords out of the way. This is so tedious. Like, I hate having to do this, honestly. But I, I really just think this is the best way to do things. Put that cord right there. Let my hand wake back up because it is now asleep. Oh, before we get in the truck. Before we get... What the heck? Turn off. Let's move the excavator. We're not going to be able to go back very much further with this thing. We'll just go all the way back to right here. There's actually good gold that we're sitting on right here. I'm not sure how we're going to get that out of the ground. I guess maybe we'll move it over here and, and figure something out that way. Alright, so let's just go in here and, and, and loop this thing around real fast. We're going to set it right there beside. Right here beside uh, the wave table. Right there. I think that's, I think that'll be a good spot. Let's get out and look real fast. Make sure it's lined up good and not overlapping. Yeah, I think that'll work. Awesome. We'll just go ahead and disconnect it right here. Put you down there. Go ahead and get everything hooked back up again. Where's the other end of this thing? It's down down into the hole. Uh, it goes on this side, don't it? It does. We don't want cables going everywhere. It's a tripping hazard. Let's go ahead and get the water hose. Now, this might be a bit difficult. This may actually not reach because we've got this thing extended out here quite a way. Whoops. I've got a mess out here, as you can see. Yeah, it'll extend, I think. We're good. Alright, get that extended up. Lord have mercy. We need to set our lights up again. Uh, this one already plugged up? No, it's not. There should be a plug-in for it somewhere, though. So tedious. All right, there we go. Plug that one in. I'm not gonna worry about the other two right now. Um, let's just go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and start the pumps and see if we can get this thing finished. Actually, the rain's getting ready to stop. It looks like it's kind of lightening up a little bit. It's cloudy, which means we may lose our creek. We haven't yet. It's it's still coming pretty strong, so that's good. It is. Uh, 10.35 in the morning. On a Tuesday, I think it is. Actually, it doesn't say. Day 17. Four days till autumn. When autumn gets here, I wonder... 
I wonder what kind of challenges we're going to face when Autumn gets here. Okay, there we go. Awesome. We gotta be careful because we're gonna run out of fuel in this thing here pretty soon. We don't have a lot left. Oh, you know what? We didn't put our bucket back on here. There we go. Don't wanna forget that. Alright. Let's dig out what we can dig out. We might actually be a little too far away. I have to back that up a little bit. We'll see. It might be okay. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. We'll just have to extend it out just a little bit. No, no problem. This bucket will be full after the scoop right here anyway. Did we grab the wrong bucket, maybe? I thought we had a bucket that wasn't quite full. No, that's the right one. Let that run out real quick. I can't see it because of the clouds. 99. This will be a 100% bucket right here. Well, almost. Let's go get one more bucket. I'm pretty excited. This should be some of the best gold we've ever had out of this claim. Now, I did... You have to remember, I did change the uh, difficulty to medium. I'm not sure if I had it on medium before or if I had it on easy. So it may be that we get less gold out of it. I don't know, to be honest. But we do know we're in where the good gold's at. We know that much. I probably should have... We couldn't change it to easy. It wouldn't let us do that. I, and I don't know what I had it on. I, I forget. I'm hoping I had it on medium to begin with, so it's not that big of a difference. I can't really tell if my lights are off or on. I think that's off right there. Wait for this thing to run out. 96% It's not too bad. Turn that off real quick and unhook it because we're going to have to move it again in a little bit. Actually, we can probably leave it right there where it's at for now. We've got four full buckets here. And, uh, man, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. So let's go ahead and hook up the wave table. Let's get the water hose hooked over here. Get it where it's supposed to be. Get some power ran to it. We'll just use the one from this light here. And, uh, Awesome start working let's dump this stuff in here let's see there's one bucket there 25 percent we've got 0 0.000 ounces of gold so keep that in mind how much gold are we going to get out of here 86 percent for this thing let's get these buckets out of the way real quick so we don't trip over them Oh, no, 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 whoa, 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 we're, we're losing gold. We don't have a bucket under there. That was not smart at all. Let's do it again. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. We we'll turn that off at ninety. Full bucket. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Well, almost got 98 on that one. Wow, 125.32 ounces of magnetite. That is a lot. That is a lot more than what we've been getting, I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think. We can do some cool things with that magnetite as well. We can uh, we can do a lot of things with the blacksmith with the magnetite. 
Magnetite 90. Another 120 ounces of Magnetite. And then one more bucket to fill up here. You should run it out. And we're done. Nice. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this because it won't be long when the uh, creek, the water's level's going to dry up and we're not going to be able to do anything else. Alright, let's, um... Let's go ahead and hook this up. we got to hurry. we got to hurry! Get this done while we can. Get the wave table turned on. Where's, where's the on button at? There we go. Oh, the water ran out already. Dang it. Man, we were so close. Oh, well, shoot. We'll have to wait for the water to come back. All right. Well, I guess I'll I guess I'll go do some things off cam real quick. Get some fuel and we'll just uh we'll wait on that water to come back and see how much we get. That's a that's a real shame it is. Dang, I hate that. All right, let's go refuel everything. Okay, so I've refueled everything. And uh, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon now. The water should start coming back about 7 or 8, I think. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to sleep for like 3 hours. And uh, when the water comes back, we'll, uh, we'll come back and we'll figure out how much gold we got. The only bad thing about what's going on right now is I only have $1,400 in the bank. And I need gold, I need money to be able to smelt the gold. So uh, I may have to try to take out a loan if I can, just a small loan. Or I may have to sell some of the, some of just the uh, the gold ore just to get enough money to actually smelt the rest of it. We'll see. Alright, we got water. Let's start the pumps up. Get down here and see how much gold we got. Hopefully it's a, a decent amount. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um... At the same time, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know if we're going to get that much. I really want to get enough to fit to build this water tower up here so we can start mining again during the day. Although, I think when it turns autumn here in about four, four, three or four days, I think we'll probably won't have near as much uh, dry spells. But you just never know. All right, well, here we go. We got 70% 70, 70 of the wave table full. So let's see what happens. We got no power. We got no power. There we go. We got power. All right, we got one ounce. Not really getting gold that much. Not getting as much as I thought we would. Six ounces. So we usually get four per bucket, roughly. We're up to about five per bucket. That's not bad. I mean, we definitely need as much as I'd like to get. But it wasn't terrible. We might end up with about 24. I think we usually get about 20-something anyway, so I'm not sure if this is a whole lot better than normal, to be honest. We didn't get any real big nuggets out of that, I don't think. Which, usually we get those down towards the bottom. Looks like we might end up with about 30. Which is which is a little more than normal, but it's not a ton. But you have to remember, too, we did dig off the top. And usually the, the dirt off the top is not the gold-rich dirt. So, it's very possible that we'll get more the further on down we get. So, we've got 30.25 ounces. Um... Definitely not what we wanted. I, I wanted to see about 100 ounces there if I could get it. Uh, that's asking for a lot, I know. But um, that's kind of what I wanted out of it. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and cut off all the pumps real quick. We're going to take this gold and go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it smelted. And see how much we get out of it. 30 ounces isn't bad, really. I mean, it. you know, it didn't take us that long to get it. I've been playing here for about, well... I've been playing for an hour and a half now, and I only mined for about 
maybe 45 minutes total before the water ran out. We just want to be able to get this this tower here built. And I think it was like $50,000 to get the tower rebuilt. Or maybe it was 150. dollars I'm going to check real quick because this is the next thing we really want to do so we don't run out of more water. Um, 150000 to do that. So it's, it's going to take a while to get that. We've probably got about forty dollars to $50,000 worth of gold right now. So maybe we uh, mine two or three more times and we have enough. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get this smelted real quick. I'll meet you guys back at the blacksmith. i got to figure out how to get enough money to actually smelt it first. And, um, and we'll, we'll carry on. I'm going to move this fuel tank over here where we're actually using it real quick. Well, we can't get a loan. I just tried. We have to pay off our current loan first before we can get another loan, which kind of sucks, but understandable, I guess. So what we're going to do is we're going to smelt as much of this as we can. We're not going to get a ton of money for it. And since we don't have the money that we need to get that repaired anyways, I don't think it really matters. We'll just smelt what we can. We'll sell that gold bar to the bank. And uh, we'll kind of set on that money that we got. The problem is... Oh, shoot. The problem is... There's a really strong fences. The problem is uh, every day we have to pay a little bit of money to the claim owner. And we also have to pay a little bit of gold to the claim owner. And if we don't have a ton of money to be able to do that, we're not going to be able to... Um, I'm not going to be able to keep very much money in the bank. I actually need to turn these headlights off because my battery will die. There we go. So let's just get what we can get out of it. Uh, looks like we can get 14.5 ounces. That'll give us a decent amount of money. So we'll go ahead and smelt that. And then we'll sell that to the bank and just kind of set on the rest. Um, I think it uh, shouldn't take too long. So we'll see. Alright, 18 ounce gold bar here. Yeah, let's just leave that laid on the ground any old wear. It's not like we worked forever for it. Let's take this, sell it to the bank. The stock of gold isn't really very high right now, but to be honest, it's not... It's like $100 less than what it was when it's at its peak. So it's really not... Oh, did you see that? The headlights actually flashed whenever... Uh, we started the engine, which was interesting. Um, it's uh, it's it's only a hundred dollars less than what it was when it was at its peak. So even though the stock goes up and down, it really is not going to make, in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to make that much difference. Um, how much money you're going to get through selling stuff? So we're really not going to worry about it. Alright, how much are we going to get for this 18 ounces, I wonder? $15,000. Not a whole lot. Very unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and smelt the rest. Very, very unfortunate. I guess we get about 24000 per... 25000 per 30 ounces of gold, which means gold value is down quite a bit. It said it was 1200 per ounce. Um, so I'm not sure. That doesn't really add up mathematically. But, uh, whatever. Nothing I can do about that. Let's go back to the blacksmith real fast and go ahead and get the rest of... rest of our gold smelted. And, uh, we'll turn that into the bank. We'll come out with about 20 grand, which, you know, is not very much money for all that work. Uh, definitely not as much gold as we thought we were going to see in the ground there. At least not yet. But I will show you in a second what I was talking about while we wait on this to smelt. And I've kind of been over this before already. We kind of dug off the top. And, um... There's not a ton of gold on the top. So if we look here... In the gold map, we were digging around number 115. Right here. You know, we could have been digging on the wrong one. Maybe 116 is where we need to be. Well, 115 has got gold in number 90, and we didn't dig a whole lot in number... Well, actually, we did... You know? There's supposed to be 34.4 ounces in 115. I think we should have been digging in 116 instead, so we may have been digging in the wrong claim the whole time. Yeah, 16 is showing 309... 309.29 ounces, so we may move over one 
and dig out some in 116. 91, yeah, that's 309 and 347 right there. So we may have screwed up and just dug in the wrong spot. I could have sworn 115 was where we needed to be. It's kind of funny if you look here, you got 114 with 206.40 ounces total, estimated. You've got, uh, in 88, you've got 218. 114 showing, or 115 showing 34.4 ounces. That's not much. We dug all in 115 and, and in 90. 90's got 95.86 ounces. 65. 65 has got a lot now. 65 has got 353 ounces. So we're on the right track. We'll just keep digging back this way. And 40 showing 62. So 65 looks like it's going to be a big, big hit when we get there. Uh, we'll just have to wait until we get there. But 353.23 ounces and 65 is going to be great. And we actually should be pretty close to getting into that. So they're down... Uh, 1.9 meters down, so we start hitting uh, 052 point ounces per, per meter. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, squared or cubed. I guess that might be cubed. Um, so, yeah. We'll, we'll get there. I wonder what... Okay, that must be the time that I dug it. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Alright, so... Uh, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know we didn't get the results we were really after today. But uh, we'll come back in the next episode now that we know kind of where we where we messed up at or where I messed up at. We'll come back later and we'll get that good gold. We'll keep going the direction we're going to 65. We should get a decent amount of gold out of 65. And um, we should, once we do that, we'll probably leave the side over there that we can kind of traverse through with the excavator. And we'll start on 114. And uh, we should get a lot of good gold out of 114 and the uh, square right behind that. So... Anyway, we've got a long journey ahead of us. Hopefully we get enough out of those to get that water tower fixed. That's going to help out a ton. And uh, to go ahead and get a... Go ahead and get a bulldozer so we can clean out that bottom of that road. And then we can kind of start down there again. And start digging out the good stuff from uh, down below on the bottom of the ground. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate it. I hope I see you in the next one. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.